And who's this? Yago, that's who we're looking for. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. Alright, let's do a quick save. What in the nine hells are a lot of you doing in my room? We're here for the cure to the curse you've placed on Brawl Barra's daughter. So the bitch hired some adventurers to get a cure for her precious daughter. She should have sent someone who was up to the task instead of you, Rabble. Oh. Wanna go fighting, huh? Let's go get him. Hmm. Please, let me live. I give up. I'll give you anything you want, just don't kill me. Give us the book and we'll be off. Here's my spell book. Thank you for letting me live. Thank you. Okay, so we got Yago's Book of Curses. What is this thing all about? Yep, Book of Curses. So that's what we need for Brawlbera's daughter. And let's take a look in the locked counter here. And a bunch of scrolls and some gold. Let's see what we got this time. Melf's Acid Arrow, Ghostly Visage, Sleep, and Fireball. Whatever. And we have every one of those already. Alright, what do we have down here? <laughs> You're Let's a have queer M1 fellow. go take a look. Oh, there's another hatch going farther down. And a courtesan and a locked armoire. Excuse me, ma'am, but we must inspect this armoire. We'll take the gold and another armoire. What do we got in here? A short sword. Ah, uh, you can keep that, ma'am. We're just gonna take the gold. Let's be off. And let's go down to the next level. And we're in the hold. What's in the barrel? 150 gold. We'll take that. And some crates. Bloodstone gem, we'll take them. And what's in the bag? Empty. And a barrel. Empty. Anything else down here? Nope. So, oh, let's get out of here. Okay, back up on the surface. Let's get off the boat. Now what I'm thinking, the next thing we need to do is go to the Merchant's District. We need to go to the Umberly Temple. And we need to talk to Scar and let him know about the ogre that we discovered in the sewers. So... Well, let's go to the Merchant's District. And here we are in the Merchant's District. Yeah, we need to go to the Temple of Umberly here because of that uh, one cursed Gias on Lefander. Remember, if you recall, the Diviner told us to come here, which is this building right here in front of us, and see if we can get some information on how to get rid of that Gias on Lefander. So, let's go inside. In the Temple of Lefander. So. Or the Temple of Umberly, I mean. Oh, wicked looking place. Alright, let's talk to this priestess. The bitch queen brooks no insolence. For what purpose do you visit the bitch queen? We wish to speak to the high priestess, Jalantha Mistmere. The high priestess does not have time to see commoners. Why should I allow you to waste her time? Would a donation of 50 gold allow us entry? That offer is adequate. Wait here, and I will return with the High Priestess. Okay, and here she comes. Taking her sweet time. The Bitch Queen brooks no insulin. I am Jalantha Mistmere. What reason do you have to see me? We have need of your powers. A companion of ours is cursed with a Gia spell. 
We humbly ask that you remove it. I do not offer the power of my goddess to anyone. If you wish his favor, you will first have to do a favor for Umberly. The favor I ask of you is a simple one. The holy day storm call approaches. It will be the first time I have overseen this ceremony. To ensure that my first ceremony is flawless, I need an item of power. It is called the Book of Wisdom and is possessed by the clergy of Timora in the Temple of Timora, called the Lady's Hall by those who venerate the frivolous goddess. If you can get this book for me, I will do what you ask. What is your decision? It looks as if we have no other choice. We're in. I don't care how you get the book. Once you have it, come to the temple and meet with me. Thander's warning. We have agreed to find the holy book for Jalantha Mistmere. The book is located in the Temple of Timora, also known as the Ladies' Hall. Okay, so... Now we go to see Scar at the Flame and Fist headquarters and let him know about the ogre in the sewers. And hopefully that'll close that quest out and go on to the next. Walking the Green Mile. Alright, and here's Scar. And we still gotta get that damn uh, angel skin ring for Fergus too. Alright, let's talk to Scar. I am a man of my word. It's good to see you again. How have things gone? We learned that an ogre mage holed up in the sewers was responsible for all the disappearances. He had several carrion crawlers that would steal out at night to carry off random victims. The crawlers used their hapless prey as food, whilst the ogre mage took any valuables they might have. You've done a good job and earned your bonus in full. Do you have any of the items possessed by the ogre's victims? I'm sure their families would like to have something to remember of their loved ones. We know for a fact that the Shashin Star family lost a daughter to those creatures. She had a signet ring. A ring and set with a ruby. Well, yes we do, we have a ruby ring. Yes we do, we'll be happy to return it. But thank you for your honesty. I'll throw in a 3,000 gold bonus for the return of the items. Anyway, I'm going to need some people to do some investigating of the Iron Throne. I'm just going to finish up some paperwork, then I'll be outside the main doors of the Flaming Fist compound. If you wish to discuss the Iron Throne, then come talk to me there. Okay. We got actually a total of 3,000 or 4,000 gold pieces. Got a thousand experience points. Journal update. Ruby Ring was taken from us. Let's look at the journal. Scar is waiting outside the Flaming Fist barracks. He wants to discuss the suspicions he has about the Iron Throne. And we got a we level up for a Jantus. Nice, I should be able to get Monkey Grip. So, ninth level pal, and then a second one. Alright, let's get some Tumble. And let's put the rest in concentration. And, where's Monkey Grip? Yeah, now I can use that two handed sword. That great sword with uh, a shield. That's why I want to get monkey grip. It allows me to use uh, two-handed weapons with one hand. So now I can use a shield and a great sword with this. But I do have a minus two penalty. But that's fine with me. Cause that great sword does some decent damage. Okay. So let's take a look here. Now, I got the great sword, the spider ba spider's bane equipped right now. I got a 14 and an, a plus 14, plus 9, so if I equip my shield, yeah, it's 12, 7, so it drops 2, which is fine with me. Now his armor class is back up to 25, and that's what I want. Higher armor class. Because they do a decent amount of damage already. He does a maximum of 17 alone just with the weapon. <laughs> 
and his strength, of course, but... Okay. Alright, so... Well, now. Oh, let's get out what of here. Okay, now we are back outside the Flame and Fist headquarters, and here is Scar waiting on us, so let's talk to him again. Greetings. Hello, I have another job for you. This one involves a group you have dealt with in the past, the Iron Throne. Duke Elton himself wishes to speak to you about this. Will you come with me? Of course we'll come, especially if we have an audience with the Grand Duke. Just follow me. I'll take you to the Flame and Fist compound. The Grand Duke is waiting for us. I am a man of my word. Let me introduce you to a group. Greetings, taxpayers. I am Duke Elter, commander of the Flaming Fist. I'm glad to see that you have come. I know that such a meeting is unusual, but in these circumstances, it is necessary. I would first ask what involvement you have had with the merchant society known as the Iron Throne. We've learned that they are involved in a plot that threatens the stability of your city. From what I have been told, you have been quite a thorn in the side of the Iron Throne. I'm interested in you because of the obvious hatred that they hold for you. Their recent activities have been brought to my attention, and I'm very dubious about the intent of the throne. I think it is far too easy to blame the recent caravan raids and iron shortage on the Zentarum. Though the evidence does point to them, they do not have much to profit. Well, the Iron Throne has everything to gain. I have much to concern me right now, especially with tensions rising between our city and the nation of Om. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I can't act against the Iron Throne until I have hard evidence of their wrongdoing. That's, of course, where you come in. I need a small group of spies to break into the Iron Throne headquarters and see if they can find any proof of the Throne's involvement with the caravan raids. If you do this for me, you'll be paid extremely well. 2,000 gold to divide among yourselves. What's your answer? 2,000 gold? Consider us hired. You have made a wise decision. This is a difficult mission that I gave you, but I'm sure you have the wherewithal to make it through. Return and report to me once you feel you have enough information to use against the Iron Throne. We'll be back as soon as possible. And journal update. We have agreed to go to the mission for Duke Elton. We are to infiltrate the Iron Throne headquarters. Okay. Scar got anything else to say? Nope. Alright, what's in the door? And we have a locked chest. And a locked armoire. Yep. And just for the hells of it, can we get into them? Success not possible. Hmm, DC 38. Hmm. Let's take a look in the armoire. Empty. So, I'm rolling a total of 36 with a take 20, and it's a DC 38. So, without me busting into the chest, I got these tools plus one, so I need to increase that one more. So, let's see, open lock runs off of dexterity. Hmm, do I have... Yeah, whatever. Potion of Cat's Grace, yes. So, if I take a Potion of Cat's Grace, it should increase my dexterity. Yep, so... Open lock is now 17. And with these tools, that gives me 18. And it take 20, that's 38, so I should be able to open this with a set of these tools. Let's give it a shot. Success! There we go. And we got some gold and some armor. Hmm. Banded male plus one. Ok. 
Okay. Alright, let's see what else we got down here. And we have a barracks. Let's look in the trunks. Hmm. Heavy shield and some gold. It's a heavy shield plus one. And some gold. And let's pass off some of this weight. Okay. So. Well, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're back outside. The next thing we're going to do is go back to the palace district. And I think we can close out a couple things there too. Alright, and we're back in the palace district. Yeah, the one I want to close out is the one with Yurik, the mother of Yurik. She wanted us to pass that amulet off to Yurik, which we did already, so now we can go back to her. And she should reward us with something else. And if I remember right, she was in this building here. Yeah, we're down here, so let's go in here. And there she is, Nadine. I believe so. Let's talk to her. That was kind of you f to do that for me. As for Yurik, he'll come home when he's ready. Here, let me give you this necklace as a token of my thanks. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it has been in the family for years. Okay, so she gave us an amulet and we got an alignment shift to good. And it needs to be identified. Let's give it to Whatever. Zan. And we have a necklace of missiles. Fireball. 25 charges. Oh man, we got all kinds of fireball stuff now. Okay, Whoa. let's get out of here. Okay, so... Next thing I'm thinking, we need to head over to the uh, Tavern District. To the Splurging Sturgeon and see Brawl Barra about that and give her that book of curses then we can close that quest out and here we are in the tavern district and let's go into the sturgeon and here we are in the splurging sturgeon, I haven't been in here yet so what we got in here who's this guy, Lucellin Lantanera. And there's Braubera. Oh, Lantanera. You there! Wait! I recognize your face from, uh, from a dream I had last night. Dreams speak with wisdom the waking mind can rarely fathom. Tell me your dreams, woman, and warn me of my place in them. You were a god made of iron, and I watched you from below, so far below. You were stolid. Still, unmoving, and bulwark against some raging storm, and then you, and then you shattered, and, and broke, your iron flesh, it tore itself asunder, and, and, and you fell to your knees, a weakened being, it was horrible, a true horror, I woke up weeping with my husband shaking me, desperate to rouse me from my reckless slumber, whoever you be, and whatever you have come here for, beware the fates, for they, they be arrayed against you. Hmm. A prophet's warning, huh? And she's leaving. So here's Braubara. And let's do a quick save. And let's talk to Braubara. My poor dear Namara. Tell me, did you get the reversal for the curse? Well. Yes, we have it right here. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I owe you everything. If there's anything I can do for you, just name it. Well, we'd like to be paid. What about you, Corn? Are you planning on leaving again? 
Not even trying to be a father? I'm sorry, Brile, but I just don't have the time or inclination to care for your, I mean, our child. Maybe someday you'll grow a spine, elf. Okay, so Yago's Books of Curses was taken from us. We got 500 experience points. Five point shift toward good. Journal updated. And we got 200 gold. Now, if I remember right, there was an issue with this as of patch 2 where it actually wouldn't close out like that. You wouldn't uh, get any experience points, and I don't think the journal closed itself out, but I fixed that, if I remember right. <laughs> it looks like it's working anyways. We have delivered Yago's book to Braobara so she can save her daughter. So that quest is done. Not a bad quest there. We got some decent stuff out of that. Okay, so Lucellin next. Let's talk to this guy. I need some ale. Drink oh. up. Okay, he's a drunk. And what do we have back here? We got the cook. Hello, pal. This is my kitchen. I don't like interlopers, so get out. Okay. Door going to nowhere. Okay. Let's go do some snooping upstairs.